Curtis, who has a lot of experience in their area, in this area, and uh, we're all going to collaborate and work together. One. Thank you, Mike. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, first, I just want to thank um, St. Nick's for inviting us to be part of this initiative, and I also want to thank the Congresswoman because without her um, funding this project, it would not be possible, and we would not have the resources. It's um, part of what we call um, neighborhood um, partnership to end violence, right? Um, through the Neighborhood Safety Coalition, which, which we created, um, that finds itself now at Bushwick and Bordington Houses, um, we've been able to increase the protective factors and decrease the risk factors associated with violence and that impact our youth, impact our community, but also um, use those protective factors that we um, put in place to continue to create a process by which residents themselves begin to take on the, the process of ending violence in their own community. Um, the efforts that are going to begin here are going to be um, triggered at, um, lack of, for lack of a better term, um, are going to be um, directly working with youth um, to reduce gun violence by engaging them in conversation and activities um, that will go um, counter to the message that's used out there that gun violence is the way to solve it, um, problems in our communities. Um, we're also going to implement a, a model here that's going to speak to the issue of the disinvestment um, by NYCHA and local um, di other disinvestments with, which lead to this form of violence. Um, we just heard our chancellor say this week that um, young people are carrying guns because they're afraid. The, the, what we want to try to do here is to say, you don't need to carry a gun in your neighborhood because we're all going to make it safe for each other. That means that everyone plays a role in that, in that um, from the adults to young people. But the way to do it is to really come together and begin to um, take on the message put it out there and not be afraid of getting results that work for us. And what I mean results that work for us mean that are community, community driven, not driven by money, not driven by any form of um, overnight programs that come in and leave our communities. This is gonna be a, a community-based program that hopefully can be here for a long, long time that eventually the, the, the community itself is going to take over and begin to do the work on their own. That's what we should all be doing, working to get ourselves out of this job that we're about to do and turn it over to the community so that they can run this themselves and create a safer and better community for themselves. So we look forward to being part of this. Um, again, we just want to thank the Congresswoman for her efforts, not only here, but she also helped us initiate this at Bushwick Houses and Wodinkin Houses. And we know her commitment um, to ending gun violence, um, you know, is not measured by anyone else in this city um, in the way that she's done it. She, she's been committed to it and we appreciate it. So thank you. Thank you.